Hello guys, how are you doing? Crypto Marco here and in today's video we are going to speak about the Bitcoin price again. We haven't taken a look in a while at the Bitcoin price on a good old-fashioned price chart and did some technical analysis, although this won't be a very extensive technical analysis, just some very, very, very basic stuff that even beginners will understand. Furthermore, we're going to talk about the price of Ethereum, why Ethereum has been on such a decline in the past, and then going on, we're going to talk about some new ICO regulations um, that have been suggested by the European Parliament, Coinbase, Nasdaq, and cryptocurrencies, Ripple, and many, many, many other topics. So if you enjoy the content, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and comment down below with your Litecoin address because among everybody who's commenting, I am giving away a small amount of Litecoin. Now, as you can see, currently Bitcoin is staying right there at 6,500. And we're taking a look at the chart. What we're seeing is basically that you guys should know that since like, let's take this point and go up here. So Bitcoin went up like crazy and went down like crazy. We don't need percents to calculate this exactly. We only need psychology. Many people right now are trying to look at hourly charts and so on and trying to calculate what the next move of Bitcoin is going to be. And I can understand that you want to have an advantage over other traders. However, you need to be of the aware, aware of the fact that many YouTubers out there are right now talking about this resistance of 5,900. Actually, not YouTubers, but traders. Like everybody's talking about this resistance of 6,000, 5,900 and that this is the, resist the resistance that we have right now. So right now, people are speaking about a bottom that we have found and I have seen a video um, from a German youtuber who was talking about pure maths no emotion involved that the last few bull runs of Bitcoin were so many so and so in on average like 70% and the down, uh, and the bear runs uh, and the bear phases were this much percent so that, that the next bull run should bring us up to 100,000 um, US dollars. Now, the problem that I have with that is people sometimes tend to treat Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as if it is a natural law, as if it is, as if God made Bitcoin and then, you know, it's a force of nature that after a bear run a bull run has to happen and that bull run will be 70 percent i got emails from people asking me whether or not they should take a loan for for buying bitcoin and i just wanted to let you guys know that you should be super 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 careful especially when you're new and you're inexperienced and you think that just because you got in in a lot of money during december and january you're now all of a sudden a trading expert many people who back then made money got lucky it's just a fact unfortunately and i hope that you learned everybody learned a lesson from that phase i did as well um learned a lot of lesson back from that bull run and back to the topic of the resistance level of 5900 if we go underneath 5900 um, i mean can definitely happen to go lower than 5900 could trigger a chain reaction and then we might see 5,000, maybe even 4,000, maybe even 3,000, maybe even all those important psychological barriers could happen. So just because we have found support right here, don't think that we're in a safe area and don't think that we have bottomed out. We're going to talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum and all of that in all the other articles. So we have been talking about um, I've been I have been mentioning that um, Ethereum has taken huge hits in the last few weeks and people want to know what's going on with Ethereum. So one theory is that many ICOs that have taken that have gotten so much money during the bull run last year are now cashing out, are now in the need of cash and are selling their Ethereum and so many people all all are selling their Ethereum at once. Of course, there is a lot of supply of Ethereum 
so the demand is gonna get uh, get down and that's why one theory is one hypothesis is that the ethereum price is going down because there are just so many icos right now selling ethereum another one is the hypothesis about currencies being really, really strong as the united states moves to tighten its economy and avoid strong inflation they're taking action that is strengthening the dollar because the u.s dollar is the global reserve currency many smaller economies rely heavily on a stable exchange rate with the greenback greenspan wrote so too as the dollar is being seen as a stable store of value at the moment there really isn't much incentive for people to store their money in digital assets which means of course if the dollar goes down bitcoin should go up what do you think let me know in the comments down below over the course of this week's it seems that cryptocurrencies have been reacting negatively to the surging us dollar in this sense they've been acting a lot like traditional commodities he added in an email statement to cnn usually when the dollar goes up assets like gold and oil go down in relation over the last week both digital gold and real gold have fallen sharply in the face of rapidly rising dollar interesting what do you think does the dollar have anything to do with the bitcoin price let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to post your litecoin address because among everybody who's commenting i'm giving away a small amount of litecoin now what's also really important for the long-term development of bitcoin and cryptocurrencies is that the, is the fact that we need real we need some clear regulations when it comes to cryptocurrencies and especially about icos so this is something that has been suggested by ashley fox and right here we are talking also about initial coin offerings which will be very important for the future um because many initial coin offerings are kind of reluctant because they fear regulatory consequences and this regulation in my is an opportunity to provide regulations for initial coin offerings at present initial coin offerings are operating in an unregulated space and consumers are at risk from fraudulent activity taking place in this market this regulation gives the opportunity to ico that want to prove their legitimacy to comply with the requirements of this regulation whilst this regulation may not provide the solution for regulation regulating the ico market it takes a much needed step towards imposing standards and protection in place for what is an excellent funding stream for tech startups so imagine you're an ico you have a great product you have a great team and you need funding of course you might want to do an ico because ipos are fucking complicated and it's really a pain in the ass to do one however icos are still fully regulated and many icos from legitimate companies out there are still kind of reluctant so of course first of all if it will get regulated more we would have more trust into crypto cryptocurrencies which which would cause a bigger price probably and furthermore this could be a good way for an ico to show that they comply with regulations if they have some form of proof that they have been cooperating with the european parliament over whatever instant um is responsible for this furthermore um what is also of course one big step towards mainstream adoption would be nasdaq and cryptocurrencies working together so the winkelvoss twins who are the owners of the gemini exchange have been meeting with the nasdaq guys allegedly this is what's going on behind behind closed doors tyler and cameron have moved the ball down the field in a meaningful way nasdaq and its leadership already are predisposed of finding an architecture solution and being the first to list actual tokens not just the structure they've seen from gemini and other research they've done with with exchanges to note oh not just etfs or futures or some derivative of the crypt apparatus but rather list actual coins they are getting very comfortable with the structure they've seen from gemini and the other research they've done with exchanges of note there's a timeline forming of this decision and it could be earlier than some might think what would happen if nasdaq and gemini would actually start listing crypto actually with if nasdaq would start listing cryptocurrencies i think it would cause at least a short form of bull run however it will be a big 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 step towards mainstream adoption and that is great of course furthermore coinbase ceo the ceo of coinbase 
Brian Armstrong said something very interesting. So we finally got some numbers on his success of Coinbase. So they were signing up to 50,000 motherfucking users single day. Now imagine 50,000 people and each of them is investing like only $10. That's already an insane number, but multiply that by 100 and multiply that by a few days. You get the kind of money that Coinbase was making during um, the bull run with cryptocurrency. So that's completely insane. And something very interesting that he said is the technology is going through a series of bubble, bubbles and cor corrections. And each time it does its new plateau. So it means that right now, we, I mean, and it's actually true. Fundamentally, Bitcoin has seen so many ups and downs that this is just one more bubble. And his viewpoint is that right now we are on a plateau. I am very bullish long term towards Bitcoin. However, you should be very cautious where you're investing. You shouldn't invest more than you're than you're comfortable losing. So keep in mind that everything in this video is my personal opinion and not financial advice. And you really take great responsibility when investing into cryptocurrencies. Netcoins has done a cooperation with Ripple and they will be available at 21,000 retail locations in Australia, Europe and Canada, which is again one more big step towards mainstream adoption. And I can't wait to see Ripple as an um, as an as a means of exchange, as an as a paying option some sometime when I go out. That would be great. Going on the lighthearted news for today, crypto thriller starring Kurt Russell in post-production. So Kurt R Russell and some other actors uh, from Gilmore Girls. She, she's won, uh, what did she won? She won, uh, I think Emmys. It was, yeah, Bladdle, Bladdle has won Emmys and Kurt Russell is a legend. Of course, if you have seen Bone Tomahawk, let me know in the comment section down below. I was so scared of that movie. Oh my God, it was completely insane. So next year we should get a really interesting crypto movie with Kurt Russell and I can't wait to see it in the cinema. I'm gonna go for sure. So as you know, in every video, I'm giving away a small amount of Litecoin in every video and let's see who the winner is. If you haven't sent me your Litecoin address, make sure to comment your Litecoin address and it actually is the case. So freedom is illegal with the Saudis. We should all let them dry in the sand. Don't be so mean, the Saudis. You can't say that people are should uh, dry in the sand. That's not nice. However, blockchain gal, comment in the comments your Litecoin address so I know to send where to send you two dollars and fifty cents in Litecoin. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great time. Keep in mind that everything is my personal opinion and not financial advice. And see you next time. Bye bye.